So the state education department says that the teacher evaluation system will hold up to a legal challenge. And as Nick just mentioned, the suit also names the Board of Regents. Joining me to discuss this lawsuit is Regents Chancellor Merrill Tisch. Chancellor, nice to see you. Good evening. Wonderful to be with you. Uh, it's very kind for you to be here. Okay, so he, the thing that I think this all boils down to is 20% versus 40%. It seems pretty much that simple to me. And the union thinks that by relying 40% on, uh, on tests in evaluating teachers is overstepping the powers of the regions. Do I have that right? I think, Liz, I might add a little more color to that, if I might. <laughs> it's a little dry. Please do. <laughs> we, uh, the original agreement always called for 40 points of any evaluation system that we were going to put in place to be pay based on some form of assessment. Right. And 20 points on state tests and 20 points on an alternative test to be locally determined. Got it. As part of the ongoing conversations that we were having with school districts, they asked us, because of the cost of purchasing another exam, would it be possible when we listed the alternatives if we could include the possibility of those 20 points being uh, run through state testing as well? Hmm. And we saw no reason to preclude those 20 points from being based on having that approved alternative of the state test as well. Uh, I would also go on to say that as part of the agreement, uh, there is a collective bargaining piece to all of this. So all of these points need to be, 80 out of the 100 points on the assessment system, need to be bargained collectively at the local districts. Mm -hmm. So whether or not 20 points on state tests or 40 points on state tests, all of these issues will be sorted through at the local district. Okay, so, and so, so if that, yeah. forgive me for interrupting, if that's the case, then, then first of all, let me ask you this. Liz? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You got me? Okay. okay. So got you. was the union surprised in some way by this decision? Because it seems to me that they felt that the governor said, why don't we just do it this way? The regents agreed with the governor, and then the union in some way felt left out in the cold. Did, did in fact, the regents brief them that it was going to go down mm -hmm. in this manner? My recollection, and I happened to work with uh, Mr. Iannuzzi and Maria Nera constantly, of course. and very successfully, I believe. My recollection was that at early around March, we started discussing with them the possibility that some districts had asked us to put the 20 points in for extra state testing into the final agreement. We had told them at this point that we were inclined to do that. Hmm. And obviously they had asked us if we would rethink it. But we felt very strongly that due to the overburdened financial, district, financial situation that most districts were facing, we simply could not take away that opportunity from districts. I see. And However, having said that, I believe that most of the districts will use other approved alternatives. Hmm. So if in fact, the, how much would uh, the cost be? What, if you're saying here that you did this in part because the schools, which are already getting a cut, of course, in state aid, would uh, came to you and said, we can't afford to, to do this. We'd rather do it a cheaper way with the state, with the 40%, the 40 point part. How much, do you have any idea about how much money we're talking about here? I do not, but I believe that given the fiscal realities of where we are, mm. and I believe of the imperative nature of trying to put a fair evaluation system into place, I believe that we simply can't ignore the costs, whatever they are. And we have to allow districts to go back and collectively bargain locally to determine how they want to use their resources. Chancellor, do you think that the union just doesn't want a teacher evaluation system at all? And is so is suing, if in fact they got this heads up for you, they expressed that they didn't want to see you go in this direction, you went in the direction anyway. Is this maybe all just because the union doesn't like evaluations, period, end of story? Well, I've had the privilege of working with the unions to develop the agreement on the evaluation system. And I think it's far too cynical to say that they want to avoid an evaluation. Hmm. If anything, I think they came to the table very earnestly, worked with us very diligently over the course of six or seven months to really set this on a path. 
I will say the fact that we are now at a place where this is being litigated, I continue to be optimistic that the courts will move judiciously and quickly um, to fix this matter in a determinate way so that we can move forward with an evaluation system. No, I do not believe that the, that the unions are trying to block an evaluation system. I believe there is a disagreement here mm. about the interpretation and I think it will now rest with the courts and I certainly wouldn't interfere with that. Well, do you believe that perhaps this has anything at all to do with the fact that, that, that Nyset and the governor have been at odds for some time? I mean, the union didn't endorse him during the 2010 campaign and then was uh, on the opposite side during the budget battle and, and subsequently has, has disagreed with him on, on a number of occasions. Well, I don't, I haven't read this suit, but I don't believe the governor is mentioned. He is in not. Suit. I no, believe. he is not. So I believe that this was a negotiation, quite frankly, between the State Education Department and the Teachers Union. And I believe we are the two parties engaged in this. Mm. I think that um, the governor, like many other people, put in his comments. Uh, we had comments from all over the state. The governor made, I think, some thoughtful suggestions, as did other interest groups. Many of those suggestions were adopted as part of the final evaluation plan. But I believe that this is really a question of adjudicating how the evaluation system can and will move forward. And I believe it will move forward. You know, the NYSET also said, Dick Iannuzzi in a statement when they were announcing this lawsuit, suggested that to go forward with the system that the Regents has set in place would actually lead to more, quote, teaching to the test. Is that a concern that you share over over bur not overburdening, over relying on testing? Is that something that you are concerned about? Well, I frankly believe that the evaluation system is a part of a multi-pronged reform. And at the heart of the reform, I believe, is raising standards and teaching towards a common core. And I believe if we have in place a raised standard and a statewide curriculum, that the curriculum will lead the teaching in the classroom and not the assessment. Mm. And I believe that NYSET uh, has been pushing for quite some time for the state to develop this curriculum. And we agree with them. It is high time to develop the curriculum and have the curriculum lead the assessment rather than the assessment lead the curriculum. Well, Chancellor, I want to thank you very much for joining us this evening. It is good to see you. Chan Chancellor Merrill Tisch, thanks very much. Thank you so much. Bye.